A couple of weeks ago, a little piece of Canada's heart was ripped out when the Humboldt Broncos bus crashed and uh, and this was devastating for a ton of people and it really affected our nation and and uh, I wasn't sure how to proceed, what I wanted to talk about and, and uh, in the wake of that tragedy, like so often in Canada, is that that's the time where I become so proud to be a Canadian because in the wake of these tragedies that's when we all come together our differences don't matter so much anymore and we show how strong we are as a community and how great we really are as a people and uh, I feel like the outpouring of support towards that tragedy and towards Humboldt and the team was so strong is because deep down I mean Canada is basically just one really small hockey community spread over an entire nation and that's one of the things I love so much about this country and so I figured uh, I mean because of all the the donations and the support and everything that's been going on I figured I would use this time to explain how it works when you donate money to a charity and how that works with regard to your taxes. Now the first thing to understand is that when you make a donation in order to get a tax credit for that you have to donate to an actual charity that is qualified and so in the case of all the donations to the Humboldt Broncos GoFundMe page that's actually considered a gift and not a charity which makes it that much more impressive that they have raised so much money people have been so generous with their donations so in order to get the tax credit you have to be donating to a qualified charity and in any given year any individual can can qualify for a donation up to 75 percent of their net net income except in the year of their death and the year before they, their death they can qualify for a donation up to a hundred percent of their net income however if you're donating an environmentally sensitive piece of land or certified cultural property then you can qualify for up to a hundred percent of your net income in any single year now another really important factor is for married people if you're married you can join your donations with your spouse so that you can get a better tax credit at the end of the day and you can also go back five years so you don't have to claim them every single year so you can kind of add them up and now at the end of this video I'll kind of explain the difference between that but uh, first we need to understand really how it works so when you donate money to a charity it depends which province you live in so the federal government is going to give you a tax credit for for what you've donated and the provincial government is going to do the same and the good thing about the Canadian tax code and all the different provinces is that every single one of them is different and it's really hard and they make it really hard for everybody to understand so you don't really know what's going on in today's example I'm going to use Saskatchewan and there's one important number that you need to know which is two hundred dollars so you're going to get a lower tax credit for the first two hundred dollars worth of donations you make in a year and then you're going to get a higher tax credit for everything above two hundred dollars so let's talk about somebody in Saskatchewan they've donated a thousand dollars last year they just did their taxes how's that going to look well, the federal government on the first $200 that they have donated is going to give them a 15% tax credit, which equals $30. And everything over that $200, they're going to give a 29% tax credit. So 800 times 29% is $232. Now, Saskatchewan's rates they're going to give you 11% on everything under the $200 so they're going to give you a $22 tax credit on that first part of the donation and they're going to give you 
on the remaining 800, everything over the 200, which equals $120. So the total tax credit to this person is $404. One other quick thing you need to know is that if you make over $200,000, the federal government boosts that number from 29 to 33% for everything you've donated over $200. Clear as mud, like I said before. So now this person has a $404 tax credit, which means that if they owe $404 or more in taxes, they're going to get a reduction in their tax bill of $404. However, if they have zero taxes that they owed over the course of a year, they're not going to get a $404 tax return. So you can't get money, but you can reduce your taxes. Clear as mud once again. Good. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so like I said, I said it's a good idea to join them with your spouse and it can be a good idea to add them up over five years for example so I'm gonna go really easily and then I'm gonna explain the math in a blog on my website and I'm also gonna break down the different rates for each province on my website k4financial.ca Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. Thank you very much. Humboldt Strong.